The tracking branch of the domination tree gives your champion stacks for performing certain tasks. Each stack gives 1.2 AD or 2 AP, and when fully stacked, gives up to 18 AD or 30 AP. In addition, two of the runes give additional vision at the cost of theoretically stacking slower. In this video, I'll be talking about Zombie Ward, Ghost Paro, Eyeball Collection, and their roles in the Domination Tree, Primary or Secondary. The first rune is Zombie Ward. Takedowns on enemy wards cause a friendly Zombie Ward to spawn. Zombie Wards are visible 1 HP wards that last for 2 minutes and give 1 gold upon getting destroyed, but don't count towards your ward limit. In addition, each spawn's Zombie Ward gives a stack up to 10, and when you reach max stacks, you get 10 AP or 6 AD adaptively. This is a very useful rune for champions that take sweepers or build umbral glaives such as pike. This rune gains more and more value as you go up in rank, as in lower MMRs, wards are rarely placed in typical spots, so it's less likely that you'd run into one while sweeping. Even in mid platinum elo, it isn't often anyone clears 10 or more wards in a game. So if you aren't finding much success when finding wards, switching to ghost power is totally fine as a support. Overall, if you often clear many wards in a game, or just want to be able to contest vision around Dragon and Baron, then Zombie Ward could be a strong choice. The next rune is Ghost Poro. When your wards expire, they leave behind the Ghost Poro which grants vision for 60 seconds. When an enemy champion walks near the Ghost Poro, it'll get scared away, expiring early. When spawning a Poro, as well as whenever a Poro gets scared away, gain a stack up to 10, and when getting max stacks, gain 10 AP or 6 AD. This rune has more value in lower elo compared to zombie ward, as ghost power will have value as long as you're consistently warding. Of course, it's the most effective on supports, who have access to warding items, and useless on champions who take blue trinket, as they, as well as control wards, don't expire, they only get killed. Ghost Poro, like Zombie Ward, is rarely taken on non-supports as eyeball collection is oftentimes much faster to stack, but overall, if you're a support champion who wants to extend the time they have vision of an area, then Ghost Poro is definitely a good option. The last rune is Eyeball Collection. Takedowns on enemy champions grant a stack, and upon getting 10 stacks, gain 10 AP or 6 AD. This rune is much simpler and instead of focusing on giving vision, with stacks being incidental, focuses on snowballing and getting your 10 takedowns. This rune is good on mid late assassins who can rack up large kill lists, as well as junglers who often have high kill participation through gank assists. In addition, eyeball collection is usually the fastest rune to stack, as getting multiple takedowns is often easier than killing multiple wards, and faster than waiting for trinket wards to expire. Overall, a very simple rune that lets champions snowball harder with each takedown they get. To conclude, giving 630 gold of AD or 652.5 gold of AP at max stacks, the tracking runes give any champion a solid defensive boost, Zombie Ward gives additional vision upon denying enemy vision, and Ghost Power rewards having safe vision that doesn't get cleared. And while those two runes aren't often completed by non supports, Eyeball Collection is. Rewards champions for taking risks to get kills. Thank you for watching.